Australia is poised to lift its remaining sanctions against Burma. The announcement was made by the Foreign Minister Bob Carr, who met the Burmese President this afternoon. Senator Carr has also visited the opposition leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, who's accepted an invitation to visit Australia. The ABC's Southeast Asia correspondent Zoe Daniel reports from Burma. The isolated capital, Naypyidaw, is a symbol of military rule. But now, under a reformist president, there's change. A few months ago, Tain Sein himself was removed from the list of those not allowed to travel to Australia under sanctions. Now, 126 other members of the military and former junta will also have travel restrictions and limitations on financial activity lifted. But I think they'd understand that were there serious backsliding or a reversal of reform, that we're in a position with one signature to reimpose them. Australia had imposed limited sanctions on Burma since about 2007, penalising those seen to be profiting from the regime. Suspending sanctions is a recognition of the recent political reforms that have seen dramatic political change here and the government's view that engagement will work better than coercion from here on. Opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi, who was recently elected to parliament, is supportive. As long as sanctions can be reapplied if needed, the government says they can. I believe that sanctions have had great effect politically. If they had not had such effect, the government of Burma would not have been so eager to have them removed. Australia will also double foreign aid to Burma by 2015. In the meantime, Aung San Suu Kyi will visit Australia. Well, I was brought up on, on, on uh, songs like Kookaburra Sat in the Old Gum Tree. So I feel that I know a lot about Australia already. Aung San Suu Kyi says she'll visit Australia next year. The President, Tain Sein, has also been invited. Zoe Daniel, ABC News, Napidor.